Hi, buddy. How are you? I'm good. How's it going? I'm doing really well. Hey, uh, congratulations on this movie. As you know, uh, I love it. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> Look at that. You have the mug. <laughs> oh, this is your show. I use it so much, I forgot it even has anything to do with you. Oh, that's so kind of you, Andy. And we, you know, really, I wish I had, um, you know, they actually did uh, send some swag from your movie, Palm Springs. Oh. This, I'm going to prove this is not planned, because otherwise I would have had it. But, uh... <laughs> I can just talk to the, the sea captain while you're gone. Hey, man. Look, this is a for oh, real yeah. thing that showed up. Oh, nice, yeah. Yeah, Hulu. it's a blow up, blow up his pizza. It actually says, as seen in the Hulu original film, on screen. <laughs> it's easy to do promos like that when your props cost very, very little money. In indie. So you obviously did not film this movie uh, thinking it would only be available on Hulu because it was made in a different time. Correct. Pre, Pre-COVID. Well, pre uh, it's actually... It's COVID. It actually is a pretty good movie for the times we're living in, though. I mean, it's super funny, but it's also like really thoughtful and lovely performances from you and Kristen. But it's a good, it's a good times we're living in movie. It definitely makes you think about uh, what it's like when you're forced to sit with yourself and face who you are, and you know, there's a cyclical nature to the lives we are living right now. Uh, yes, this is a, another. A film about a guy who might not know exactly how much time has passed, which I think we all are right now. Yes. I also want to just quickly say I got the memo that we should dress identical, and thank you for saying <laughs> Of course. You're very welcome. I want to confuse people as much as possible watching as to who is who. <laughs> yeah, I think that's really good. And I think ultimately we probably won't do this uh, with sound, so it'll just, <laughs> it'll just be great. Okay. <laughs> what, um... <laughs> Hey, I, you know, I, again, I really love the film. I took to Instagram to say it, and I apologize that my dog, obviously, anyone who knows you and I know that you're not a fan of my dog, Frisbee. Right. And uh, basically, my Instagram post was that Frisbee had no interest in seeing Palm Springs and, and said she would prefer to put her nose close to her butthole. Right. I mean, I saw the post, and I want to say, first off, thank you for the kind words about the movie. Yeah. Um, and second, it was actually an interesting thing because when I saw the post, the picture of Frisbee, there was a moment when I first saw it where I was like, oh, yes! Because in the picture, it almost looks like Frisbee is dead, you know? Uh -huh. Has passed yeah. on yeah. and is no longer with us, which to uh -huh. me was like, whoa, Seth liked the movie and the rat is dead. Oh, so like for you, it was a win-win. It was jubilation. <laughs> But then I read the caption and I realized it was kind of a burn. And I was like, right. oh, uh, nah, that's funny, but I wish Frisbee was dead. Um, you know, I, you really take advantage of this opportunity that like when you're on the show, you are the, the safety of a television studio and you've laid into Frisbee pretty hard over the years. That's true. Yeah. So I guess if you would just bear with me for a second. Uh, bear. <laughs> See, Captain. You know, because, like, we're doing it from home now, Sandberg. See, so Captain, are you... And, like, would you say it to her face? Look. Oh, okay, she doesn't. But... Look how much she hates you. Look how much <laughs> she hates you so much. Frisbee, I just want to say, it's all in good fun. You're a good dog. Okay. Like, it's... You can't <laughs> listen to Seth. <laughs> Don't look at the screen, Frisbee. How did you have that ready? I was going to do it no matter what. Frisbee sucks, dude. <laughs> All right, Frisbee, I'm going to let you go, girl. Don't come back until you have tonight's pheasants for dinner. Oh, I'm actually kind of lightheaded now. I hate confrontation. <laughs> you did really well. Thank I you. you did really well. Um, uh, you, uh, you are very, I said, yeah, thank you. You are a, a great actor, always. You're particularly good in this film. Um, and it should be noted that uh, Chris Miliotti is a wonderful co-star. The two of you were great. She's actually good. <laughs> Did you ever feel like at SNL you had a scene where you thought, oh, I'm a good actor? You know, I never felt it deep down personally, but I will say this. There was a sketch when Galifianakis hosted. 
where I was the straight man in it. And afterwards, a lot of people at the show, like writers and cast and, and people who worked at the show were like, hey man, you were really good in that. You really grounded it. And the sketch was called Bidet. <laughs> I remember Bidet. It was a sketch where Zach and Wig are at a, I'm showing them around the hotel. I'm like the fancy bellboy. And they just keep asking questions about the bidet. <laughs> and what about the bidet? Does it have a sturdiness to it? <laughs> and I, I guess good acting in this context was just not laughing because I really did want to. 